Welcome to the shooting show. This week, Jeff Garrett hits the pigeon hordes with his biggest fan, and Chris Parkin reviews the Steiner Night Hunters LRF 8x30 binoculars. Jeff Garrett's out at the pigeons again, but this time he's brought company in the form of a second gun. It's his biggest fan, 74 year old Sid. Um, well, I, I've always been into shooting, you know, uh, I packed up for quite a time. My two sons got me back into it when I was unfortunately widowed and um, I've known Jeff. I go and watch him clay shooting and um, my son has treated me to a day with Jeff for my 74th birthday, which is a wonderful present. Wonderful. And, uh, you know, hopefully learn a lot how to put your decoys out and get your nets and everything set correctly. Um, that's the main thing, to learn off of Jeff. Because there's no doubt about it, that man, he knows how to set everything up to get a good day shooting and hopefully we'll have one today. I watch all his, uh, his videos and uh, on, the, on the tube, you know, I follow all those. I, like, I love to sit and watch it, you know. You can learn a lot if you're willing to learn watching the YouTubes on there. They say you should never meet your idols, but Sid seems to be taking it well. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty of land I can shoot over, um, you know, probably 4,000 acres all told, different farms and everything. And, um, you know, but it's, it's learning, you know, um, the farmers like you to kill the pigeons, not scare them. <laughs> so, you know, I want to learn how it's done. I've shot pheasants and, and, and duck and everything, but um, I just love pigeon shoot and I think if you can there's such a wily animal if you know a bird if you can um, if you can get the better of them you're doing well <laughs> this to me sitting out in the fresh air got the countryside around us what I mean look at the views we've got here today absolutely perfect isn't it we're all set up and the conditions are good all we have to worry about is that Jeff hasn't been built up to fail. With the birds beginning to decoy in, it's time to get down to business. Hold on. Happily, Jeff shows he's immune to pressure with some well-taken shots. Nearly got, yeah, I got both of them, yeah. Took three shots, but we got them. Lovely. I've got a Beretta um, Sport in... Uh, it's a it's a game gun, game sporting gun. It's just a quarter and a half choke. That's not none of these multi chokes. I just um, it's a proper left-handed one. Yes, yeah, that's a nice gun. Does me. Yeah. It's like all of them. If you point them in the right direction, they work. Who's <laughs> coming to take step? Oh. Sid's not happy with that first miss and is clearly feeling some nerves. But with more pigeons coming in, he'll soon have an opportunity to return. 
surely he can't miss twice in a row. Yeah, I can see it. What you want to do when they're coming like that? Yeah. Just let them come round and let them come back let them again. Come back round because he was going to he would have come in. Yeah. Him. So just when they're coming like that, just just keep down and let him come let back him in. Let back round and come across the face of Deeks. Right. Got some more coming up. Yeah, Jeb. <laughs> yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, Jeff left it for me. He um. He said to me to take it, and that was nice. You, and you can trust Jeff. You knew he wasn't going to move, so that was that was off the mark. <laughs> Let's hope that's one of many. Sid's appearance isn't the only thing making this a special day. It's also the field debut of the latest Ely Pigeon Lord. I feel a little bit honoured, very proud that. Uh, the well-known name of Ely, Ely have, uh, with my help, developed the new Pigeon Select. Um, it's a 30 gram load, six shot, fibre wad. Wait, hang on. We should just put another one in the bag. Um, it's a 30 gram, six shot, fibre wad, 70 mil case, which uh, we've been working to, to, together to develop for the uh, ultimate pigeon load. And so far, I find them, I've been finding them a very effective cartridge. Um, the other thing which, is, which makes me very honored is that uh, I've actually got uh, my name and signature on the box, which as the tradition and history of Ely goes, I find, I, that's a, that's a great honour in my eyes. So um, so we're using them today. And hang on, I might have to put you down again. Hang on, hang, hang on a minute, over the top here. Coming in. There's another one in the bag. So they're not proven too bad at all. Um, they go through the uh, browning maxes, working a treat. So yeah, so uh, I class that as a bit of an honour for Ely uh, to use me and my name on the side of one of their boxes where hopefully thousands of people will be using them, shooting pigeons, for a long time to come. The real test of these cartridges is how many pigeons they put on the ground, so let's get back to it. One more coming. Here comes another one. Is he going to come in? There's one coming right in front of yeah. you, Jeff. I'm in the Go on, have a oh. They certainly seem to be performing well in Jeff's semi auto, with some second and third barrel kills adding to the more straightforward shots. Get up steady, let's see. Well done. Well, I've been here for about an hour, I would think. Um, pigeons are. Oh, like this one here. I just. Oh, um, we're doing all right actually, we're doing all right. We've got probably about 25, 30 pigeons down. Um, I'm not sure with the wind at the moment, the wind just seems to be drifting, drifting. there's another one there, look, coming. I think we've got the wind right. Um, and the pigeons that are coming up that way low are just swinging out in front, just coming in lovely, real nice, decoying over the pattern, get up, shoot them lovely. The ones that I thought would come in from behind, they're coming over high, and I think they're seeing into the hide and just sort of shying off a little bit and carrying on. Um, but uh, it's like these ones here. So 
Uh, if it carries on like this for the rest of the afternoon, we've still got a couple, three or four hours shooting yet. So, you know, I'm hoping if things carry on the way they are, you know, we'll be looking at a 60, 70, 80 type bag. Um, another one coming in, two or three coming in front here now. Let me just put the earmuffs on. There's three coming in. Oh, there's one not leaving, he's staying with us. With the bag growing nicely, we ask Sid what he thinks of it all. I'm enjoying every second of it. It's a pleasure to be here, and it's such a pleasure to watch Jeff shoot the way he shoots them. You know, he's having two and three dead in the air at one stage. It's just lovely to watch him do that. Really is. And, uh, you know, I've noted how he's set up and everything, and he, he's got it right. Jeff's got it spot on. Yeah, I've had a couple of three shots myself. Well, more than that. Managed to get a couple of three down. So we're all right. You're doing all right, mate. We're Don't doing you worry all right. about that. I'm enjoying it. You tell me where an old man can have a much better day than this sitting in the countryside watching a professional at work. Oh, lovely. Well done, Jeff. Lovely shot. Or two. We think Jeff's getting used to having his fan club around, but he's not letting his ego swell too much. He's sticking to safe, ethical shots and picking off the pigeons accurately. We're soon reaching for another box of Ely Selects, which is a telling sign of how well it's going. Well done. One of the good things that I'm liking about the day is I'm, I'm really pleased with the, uh, the pigeon select cartridges. Uh, they're killing them really nice and crisp over the decoy pattern. And um, I've pulled a few good ones out of the air. So uh, yeah, very happy with these cartridges. Well done. Time's up and we emerge from the hide to pick up the fallen birds. Jeff's hardly rearranged the pattern at all today. Could it be he's actually happy with how it's gone? Meanwhile, Sid is all smiles. Oh, it's been absolutely wonderful. It's been a fantastic day. I can't thank my son, Robert, and Jeff enough 
for having a really, really wonderful day. I've learned a lot. Well, um, we've just had a count up and we've got 97 in the back of the truck, which, uh, you know, I think on the day has been, been a really fantastic day. Um, young Sydney here, a shot extraordinary. Been very chuffed to see him shooting here today. And uh, like I say, between us, we've managed to bag 97, uh, which is a good day and very pleased with it. Um, we've shot the Ely Pigeon Select cartridge, which I must say, been very, very impressed with today. Killed some outstanding birds, nice and crisp over the decoys, you know, real, you can just feel them really killing them sweetly over the decoys. Worked wonders through the Browning Maxis. So all in all, I'm really happy with the day. I shall remember this for as long as I live, to have a day with this man here. Well, I'll tell you what, Sid, that's had a, it's been a pleasure, mate, having you in the hide, mate. Yeah. And I've watched you kill some good birds. Thank you. And I hope you'll go away with a few tips that will improve your pigeon shooting in the future, mate. I'm sure it will, Jeff, because I've taken it in on board, what you've told me well and what done. I've seen. Yeah, well yeah. done, mate. Yeah, well, well done, done. thank you. Lovely. Good old boy. Thanks a lot, mate. A great combined effort at the Pigeons there. And now, the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. Shooting representatives have teamed up to ensure a lead shot ban never sees the light of day. The Lead Ammunition Group has submitted its final report to DEFRA, but the shooters who resigned from the group have sent in an alternative report, aiming to highlight the real facts about lead and expose the official report's bias. One of the figures behind the second report is the Countryside Alliance's Barney White Spanner. He said he was quietly confident that DEFRA would make the right decision. Air gun licensing has passed through the Scottish Parliament after a Stage 3 vote in Holyrood on the 25th of June. Basque has opposed the licensing of air guns from the outset, saying it is disproportionate, difficult and costly to implement and does not benefit the public. Basque Scotland's director Colin Shedden said the new legislation would only affect law-abiding air gun shooters. Offences involving air guns in Scotland have plummeted by 73% from their peak. They account for just 0.02% of crime in the country. Deadman was dead on at the ISSF Junior Cup in Seoul this week. He shot his way to silver in the double trap event, losing to Slovakia's Philip Praj in the final. His score was good enough to help Great Britain to the team gold, and Deadman shot again in the Super Cup and won gold there too. The 17-year-old shooter could be the future of double trap in the UK. After all, he's coached by Olympic gold medalist Peter Wilson. Keep up with all the big competitions in Clay Shooting Magazine. There'll be an exclusive opportunity for young gun dog handlers at the CLA Game Fair. The International Junior Handler Competition is being launched at the fair, taking place on the Saturday of the three-day show. All under-18s who are competent dog handlers are invited to enter. As we approach the big weekend, keep up with all the latest updates at gamefair.co.uk. Basque members can now keep up to date with shooting news and events with a smart new app. The free Basque app is available to download from the Apple App Store, Google Play and the Chrome Web Store and features all the latest shooting news as well as exclusive members' offers and information on events and training courses in your area. You can also use it to connect to Basque's instructional videos and codes of practice with your mobile phone or tablet, and to check out its latest tweets and Facebook posts. And don't forget, it's less than four weeks until the CLA Game Fair. Save money on tickets by buying online now. That was the Shooting Show News. Hi, I'm Chris Parkin. I'm here today with the shooting show at Carlton Moor Rangers in Derbyshire and we're looking at the uh, Steiner Night Hunter, Night Hunter 8x30 LRF binoculars. These Steiner Night Hunter 8x30 LRF binoculars are a Poro Prism binocular design which gives you the sort of old-fashioned but familiar looking dog leg design to the way the light's travelling through the body of the optic. These also incorporate a rangefinder and are made mainly for the purpose of being very, very compact and lightweight. The Poro Prism design gives you a greater depth of field to the image presented and these are slightly unusual in the fact that you've no, you've no manual focusing assembly, they have the sport focus system in them which seems as if it might be electronic, but it's not. The, the battery is purely in there for the rangefinder. 
and the depth of field you get from these binoculars runs virtually from 20 to 25 meters all the way out to infinity to give you a clear image. The binoculars have got a, a, a very soft rubber eye cup and obviously each one is set to your eye for the primary focus but once it's in position they really weld in a very comfortable manner to your face. You can scan for long periods with no discomfort at all. The range finding element of the binoculars is quite simple and straightforward. You've got one button here which for the first press brings the designator up inside your lens. You've got a red circle to place onto the object you want to range find. Another press brings up the range in yards or meters. You can change the setting for yards or meters with the mode button at the front. There is also a scan mode where you can just keep your finger on the button and, and move it either with the target that's moving or, or across the terrain you're looking at. Um, to pick up objects or maybe the tree or the bush near the animal and that gives you a, a, an instant second by second readout of the range and especially when maybe a deer is walking very interesting to see that. Ergonomically the binoculars are great they're very compact just big enough for your hands to go on top um, one button there as we said before and on the front two small rubber eye cups just plug into the front very 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 lightweight very compact no fuss mess or anything at all. There's a single battery compartment here, just unscrew it, it's got really heavy duty rubber seals on it and that contains the, the nice little simple CR2 battery which gives you thousands of hours and thousands of range finding uses. The binoculars are fully nitrogen purged to give you around 16 feet of water resistance and of course full atmospheric stability uh, amongst cold, damp, rain, fog hot, cold, anything you can imagine they will not fog up. These are built to military standards by Steiner. Um, the rubber armour is very, very durable. I won't drop them on camera, but you can imagine. The binoculars have been really good in use. The rangefinder is rated out to 1700 metres, although as anybody who's range finding binoculars before, you'll find it very dependent on the re reflectivity of the surface you're ranging, but very, very, very reliable out to 1000 metres on most occasions. Of course, without a fine focus control, you do get a good image, but you can't alter your full depth of depth of focal field. So when you, for example, looking through trees or foliage, uh, perhaps it's a deer or counting antlers, things like that, you can't um, focus out the intervening material, which of course disturbs you slightly. The automatic focus is easy because you don't really have to touch anything and whenever you pull the binoculars out of your pocket or lift them up to your eyes, they're straight onto what you're looking at. But when you're looking through cover, foliage, trees, bushes, things like that, sometimes you really do want to set the very specific focus with, with a very small depth of field. For an, an item made to a full military standard by a company that have got a great reputation throughout the world of optics, they offer a 30 year warranty and, and, and it is a pair of binoculars for life. Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you.